Okay, let's see what this is all about, yeah? Oh, shit. This game is. Holy shit, it's Fabio. Okay, so these are presets. Yeah? Here. This is an MMO. I don't know. Oh, hey. Very good. Start a private game, save locally. Start a public game, save locally. Join an online game. Join an online game? So let's see what the typical online experience is like, yeah? Oh, so you just jump in straight into... God. Oh my God. There's 24 pages. This is just page one. There's 28 pages of available search uh, service. Wow. Okay. Um... Okay, let's just see what the hell is going on here, yeah? Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure. A blessing. A weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. I just popped into existence. Did you see that? Sheltered, warmth, comfortable. Oh, wait a minute. Let's not invert the controls.
weird. Cinder Vault. Commune with the flame. You have slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of the Ember Vale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the Enduring Flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. A flame altar. So this, okay, so this game is essentially Power World without Pokemons, yeah? Claim a spot for your base. I never get the map to track your discoveries. Nav navigate to the map. Iron Fist. Oh, aim for your first base is over here. See, there's a waypoint. Okay. So what? Th these are just like little... Uh, Information obelisks, I get, I guess. Is a journal. Okay, so we need to build this kind of stuff. Is crafting. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is my character. You literally start with nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Except my uh Shorts made out of an onion bag. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Sneak attack. Merciless attack. Six seconds to... Ooh, felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects. A new legend is born! We are P and Y. If the T wants some serpents. Serpents, you legend. Rare P and Y. Thank you very much, dude. Okay, so what's the deal here then? Just jump off here, read this book. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it in, a flaming, in its flaming core. Okay, so just like little notes. This can't be how I jump off. This, this can't be it. I should have just jumped off. Can I fell a tree with my bare hands? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Very short. <laughs> oh, oh. A torch. It's in bandages. I don't know what that is. Oh, those are bandages. Oh. Can I burn the tree down? I'm on the road. Is there a... Thing to highlight like interactable objects? Maybe not. Sheltered, warm, and comfortable. Oh, what were those? I mean, I do like that. But at the same time, the music's getting ominous. Hey, 
Hang on a minute. Wait a second. Hang on a minute. So this is where I came in. I could go down this way. This leads to this. Seems to go somewhere. Oh shit. Use terraforming tools or explosive to forge a path through the rubble. Explosive powder balls can be thrown. Explosive barrels are detonated at range. Is there like a highlight or anything? There's not. Hatchet, melee weapon. Nice. Damn straight. Okay, so we've got some little... So that's how this works. This is pretty much very much like Yeah. Okay. Break everything, collect everything, yeah? That's what this is. Break the skeleton. A wand? Oh, but I need the, uh, Torch. There's pickaxes. I saw one guy trying to dig a hole to China. What do this? The flame allows you to resist a shroud. There's another skeleton there. things and shroud it press tab That's very bad. Got it. Are you kidding me? Of course I'm going to take all of that. Got a shield. Where do I? World Journal Crafting Backpack. No, this isn't a shield, right? Oh, it is. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, 
Oh, so you can only... Damn, so you can only survive in there for as long as that... Got it. Oh, this thing is already almost broken. What the heck? This sword's durability is absolute crap. Okay, so this is my little resurrection point. That's cool. So there's comfort level five. So, so there's comfort levels depending on the room. Depending on whether the room's got a roof and stuff like that, I guess. Oh, oh, I was not paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. A fur patch. Okay. Raw lean meat. Oh, yeah. One second, guys. Hang on a minute. <sighs> okay. Um, so I just need to get to my base. Let's get to my base real quick. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's little story bits here as well. I, 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 don't, I don't. Let's just keep playing, so we can get. There's a little sleep thing here too. Interesting. It's hard wood block plus one more at wood bench. What's with people hanging their new PC builds on the wall? Is this a new meme? Let me tell you, nobody in New Zealand is doing that unless they own the house. Get kicked out so often here that uh be so bummed to do that. To be like, yes, look at my new PC. <sighs> Drilled holes in the wall, I've done this, I've done that, it's all mounted to the wall. Landlord's like, get out. You're like, Time block will parry. Got it. Harvest. String. Oh shit, these. B oh, dude, nice. I like how quick that is. What is that right there? Corn? I do think that the UI is really, really big. UI seems real chunky to me. Oh shit, there's a wolf. Wolf thought he was something. Oh. 
Okay, you know what? Surprisingly, the combat is quite responsive and snappy. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of impressed by that. Usually the, oh, you sneak. Usually the combat feels real janky in these games. Like real janky. This is pretty cool. You can turn this place into it. Oh, not really. Dude, this the, the performance of this game is actually really bad. Isn't it funny that Red Dead Redemption runs better than this game? Red Dead Redemption 2 runs better than this, dude. Uh-oh. Firefly. Okay, so my base is in the middle, in the mid, like, oh, it's on the outside, I see. What are these guys, undead? Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's get my base, let's get my... Let's just do this. Location reach, claim a spot for your base. Let's, let's claim that spot right there. Build a flame altar. How to? Um, crafting flame altar. I need to oh, sorry, I need one more stone. Construction hammer. I need one more stone. Whoops. Six months to fix it? Twigs, how am I gonna... How am I gonna uh, get some stones? What is that little thing? Oh, oh wow, 
Oh, that is roll. Okay. Can't really see that well. That fog is. Dude, I need stones. Wizardry character. It's a beehive. Potion? What the hell? Uh, water and bandage. Dude, I've got a shitload of arrows, woods, I've got a crap load of, of everything except stone. Uh, wait, where the hell is the water? Is that it? Craft tools. It says I can't craft unless I create a flame altar. Like, I need a flame altar. I'm guessing that's like your first workbench kind of thing. This guy? Shit. Here we go. This is the last stone. Okay. I made a flame altar. Wait, what is happening here? to my inventory. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you. Upgrade, extend its building range, strengthen the flame. Reset skill points. Extinguish the flame. Okay. So right from this point now we can build all kinds of shit. Pretty sure. Workbench. Oh, wait. Where do I put the... In the inventory. Yeah, this is weird. Craft and repair. 
Construction hammer, rough wood blocks times 100. Wood logs. Wait a minute. So you always have to go here to put it here? Oh, they're so tiny. Oh! Okay, so can I put these down or what? Okay, how do I undo? Oh, I can't undo those. Oh. I need a construction hammer. A workbench, I need one stone. Got it. Let's go. One stone. Okay, so craft construction hammer. Got one of those. And let's put that there. Is it automatic or do I have to? Okay, construction hammer. Now what? Activate build mode. Oh, oh my God, dude. So how many, is that 64 squares? Oh my God. Okay, so that's a pretty beefy. Um, okay, so it's about 30, 30 blocks for one of those squares. Okay, good. More shapes and sizes. Uh... Wait. Oh, mouse wheel. Got it. So there's different blueprints and stuff as well. meter blocks I see I see how things operate so you basically want to make a huge blocks of foundation right right oh why does that not stack there missing the Four meters are just used up so much. Oh shit, dude. So you can craft, you have to be able to craft a ton. Like, I mean, I can, but.
Trust me, this is just the foundation, okay? Just buckle in. This is just the foundation for our castle here. This guy off our land. He's nothing. Okay, so so not a hand axe. We need to craft like uh what where's it where's tools? An axe? Twigs, stone, and string. Uh oh. A pickaxe. So I need an axe. I need some stone and some string. It's from Demon Souls. Or Dark Souls 1. Very effective at at um. I need I need stone string. I need string. Where the hell do I get string from? Maybe these guys. Twigs and plant fiber. Or maybe I can make string. Actually, maybe I can make string. Give me a sec. String. Pickaxe, let's craft one of those. Let's go to backpack. Nice. I need a shitload of wood. It's time for us to start decimating these forests. Oh, damn, I need stem. Oh my god, I got bugger all from that. Okay, so this is a this is a very chill. This looks like it's a very very chill crafter, man. Right, and we could we could technically be just. in this nice look at that fits right in perfectly dude 
Oh shit. All that chopping. Just for this. Wow. Hey, there's a tree on our land. Get it out of here. Right? Disgusting. Now we're talking. Spend 12 hours just building. It's true. It is true. And we could all play together too. Don't forget that, right? This is this is one of those games where you guys could join the server. All six of us could be in here. Building. hello and have you ruined the base that i built i don't think so i wouldn't ruin it dude just let me tell you something if it's not built to my specifications i'm destroying it the bombs okay makes sense this is only fair i did i did yeah, yeah, yeah. i did get one in a minute Foreman nest. <laughs> Most soliciting. The pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking that. The lumberjack. That's me, dude. A miner. When you mine resources, you have an additional 10% chance to get one. All tools lo lose durability 50% slower. Now we're talking. Now we're talking right here, dude. Yeah. Lumberjacky. I'm really sad that I can't chop these down. Can I really not... Um undo that I mean I think you guys get the gist of this right Th this is a, this is a pretty clear it's pretty clear what the deal is with this game Yeah, this, this is a way better looking game than Valheim, right? I keep, uh... Oh shit, I don't I don't mean to be digging holes in our land. I just I'm trying to I'm trying to f flatten things out here. Can't really do that effectively, can I? Um I need to do some terraforming. There must be there must be a shovel, right? Oh, that was outside the bounds of our thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, is there, if, if anybody wants to see something specific, right, with this game, just just let me know. Because that's kind of what today is all about, right? It's, it's just about... Um,
just about showing you guys like all these like little little games and stuff like that seeing if they're interesting to you and whether or not you want to grab them skill tree yep yep there is so this is what the skill tree looks like i will say this i selected one and, it, and stuff grew off of it so i don't know exactly like you may end up choosing one of these things and then more grows out i i don't know Barbarian, Athlete, Survivor, Beastmaster, Ranger, Assassin, Trickster, Wizard, Healer, Battle Mage. Seems to be quite... Maybe there are, um... None of this combat nonsense. Power Parry. Increases enemy stun bar gain on parry attacks. Sorry, this construction hammer. Oh, why can't I build? I don't get it. Oh. What? Oh, I built stone. Oh. Oh, my, my bad. My bad. Sorry. Uh, my, I failed. I failed. I built stone instead of wood. over there Dude, look at these. So I'm going to be leveling this forest. Oh, dude, I can't believe I did that before. I've got wood blocks for days now. This game is scary, dude. This game is terrifying. <sighs> ah, yeah. Looks like... Looks like you actually need a lot. You need to craft for, like, days. Days and days. Oh, Felipe, you're just in time, dude. We're about to check out... Um, we're about to check out a few more games after this. I think this... I think this is pretty clear what this game is. And I think it... I don't think that I really need to kind of like keep playing it too much more. Because it's, it's abundantly clear. Something so satisfyingly like chill about these kind of games. Right? Like, it's just so chill, dude.
That's just basically how my Valheim playthrough went. Started building, didn't stop, never left the starting area. The exploration of this game is insane. The map is huge. Really. So, so what was the map thing? So the map is world, yeah? Oh my god. I felt like this area just from moving from here to here was massive. Dungeons, secret caves, abandoned towns with secret lore and stuff. Long keep. So you guys and and you guys can join, right? You, you, like, you guys can join as we can build, like, a big-ass castle. Yeah? Hang on a minute. I want to see what happens if I just switch this to performance. I think visually no loss whatsoever. <sighs> May as well just play in performance mode, dudes. Right, it's not a particularly beautiful looking game anyway. What's the player limit? I think it's six per realm or like six per server, whatever it is that you that you set up. So yeah. Jump in with like six buddies or whatever. Mr. Fringlich, what's up, dude? Only six? I think? It's the, the game's not out yet, by the way. This is just EA. You had one server. Oh, maybe it's six because you need to level up your... Maybe you need to like level up your flame to increase or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. Also level one. So yeah. Okay. So upgrading the altar. Uh, you need to shroud core. 80, 80, 80. Yeah. Maybe a guild system. So you make a guild when you get to a certain size, you build a certain amount. You can increase the size or something. I don't know. Let's just go for a quick explore, yeah, so we can, before we, uh, before we switch games. Let's just, let's just head off into the wilderness for, for a little look-see. What the heck is that little Pokemon? What is that thing? A rabbit? You think that you can escape me? I've got food poisoning. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Did I eat raw chick? Okay. Fall damage. I'm guessing there's phenomenal fall fall damage. I can't help but just run around like harvesting shit, dude. Okay, sorry. I'm supposed to be exploring and I'm just getting side This This game is terrible for me, man. <gasps> oh shit. So I, fell, I fell in like a pit, pit trap.
Okay, I can sleep here. Ooh. Wooden arrow, health potion. Don't worry about any of that right now. Dedicated server would be cool. Yeah. This looks like some kind of Braylon, Braylon bridge. Dude, down there is hell. So when you create a server, does it like propagate one of these worlds? So if you start a world, it doesn't look like mine, right? Like this is just a, this is just a generated world. I think it's pretty damn cool. No. Oh, the map is the same. Oh. Okay. Holy shit, we're going miles. Oh, so... But as it is right now, the map is the same. Sigil Ring of the Elder God. What's that? Eight stem to ten health. Uh, how do I equip that? Beautiful. That's what I like to see. I love how there's like stuff to loot and explore like right in here. Prefer a handcrafted map than a than a, a random one. Got it. Oh shit! Check this guy out. Woo! I got lock picks from that guy. Lock picks. Ah. Grappling hooks. Nice. Okay. Traversal options. This is pretty sweet, man. This is this these are brown. Oh, 
These base tiles look sick. Some kind of obsidian fortress. Oh, I see. I was getting swarmed by, by friggin... Dude, yeah. that's right. Yeah, you kill those guys. I, I need to make some clothes, but hey, don't worry about that. Yeah, let's just focus on... Uh... Animal fur. Oh, I've got fists, my bad. shot him. So what is this thing here? Okay, I don't want to like read stuff right now because time. Stealth seems like a terrible play style. Yeah. Well, I don't know, actually. Who knows, man? It, it might be like massive damage. Explosive powder ball. I do like that the combat is just kind of quick. Blacksmith. So you just get teleported straight back to your, uh... No, thank uh... Okay. Next game, yeah. This seems pretty good, not gonna lie. This is actually something that I'd probably chill with, for sure. Just chip away at building a crazy-ass base. Seems like you get little helpers to help you with your... I'm guessing you recruit that guy. That's a very kind of Dragon Quest Builders kind of thing. So you get... Yeah, I lost some stuff. I don't know. Oh, I lost a lot of stuff. Yeah, you drop half of your shit, basically. Damn, yeah, death is bad. Do you get it all back if I go and get my corpse? Okay, good. So, okay, but if you die, is it like Dark Souls? If I die on my on the way to my corpse, do I, I lose it all, yeah? No? Ooh. Okay, so it's still there. It's just like a new death pile kind of thing? Ah, got it. Turn off the death penalty. I don't know. Settings. Game. On, on, on. Break target. Lock on. Kill. Ah, uh, I like that. Nope. Accessibility? No, nah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. All right.
right well dense and shrouded uh, that's pretty much like an easy that's an easy um that's an easy play for me i feel like simple <laughs> 